Hi Aquarius, welcome to your March 2021 general love reading. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you've been subscribing for a bit or a while, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope that you gain the clarity, insight, and guidance that you seek by watching this message in regards to your love life. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aquarius. This will not resonate with every Aquarius that watches this message. Also, not every single message in this reading may be for you as this reading is general. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't to someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Aquarius, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in Aquarius. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Aquarius and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if you feel like that resonates with your situation the most. Finally, before I get into the reading, I do want to quickly remind everyone of my monthly contest I hold in giving away one free personal reading for a lucky subscriber. If you're interested in winning a free personal reading for the month of March, open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. Alright Aquarius, let's get started. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know for the month of March? Ooh, the cards are jumpy for you, Aquarius. All right. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so for some of you, there's a new interest, a re-spark of a connection, but man, is it passionate. Ooh, yeah. Wow, Aquarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Don't be worried. I feel some of you are already like, oh my God. But listen, this is at the bottom of the deck. This is in your past. I feel that you had a breakup in 2020, um, maybe around November 2020, I'm picking up for some of you. And it, it was definitely a rough breakup or it definitely took a lot from you. It was draining. It was toxic. But that is all said and done, Aquarius. And I feel that because of that ending that happened for you in, I got to say 2020, but it could really be any time. But it's bringing in a new beginning for you guys. But you had to have the time to heal. And some of you are still doing that healing, I can see. Some of you are still a bit guarded, which is understandable based on the hard ending you had in your past in your love life with someone who, Aquarius, whoever this was in your past, I'll just briefly touch up on it and then move on. But it's like this person just one after another kept on betraying you, kept on stabbing you in the heart. And ultimately, I feel like they may have even broken up with you and you had a really hard time with that because you really wanted to make it work. But Aquarius, no whatever was in the past was not meant for you. Whatever is coming in March or has recently sparked your interest is, I don't want to say so much better, but definitely a lot more, this person wants you bad. Let's just say that. We got the chariot crossing here. Cancer energy could also be Sagittarius energy for me as a reader personally. They want you, Aquarius. When you guys get apart from each other, they're wondering when they're going to see you again, when they're going to talk to you again. Um, you guys could have met online through a dating app um, for some of you, but the Ace of Wands, the moment they saw you, they knew they wanted something with you. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
they've always had, I'm hearing dirty thoughts of you, Aquarius. So this is dipping in a little bit of a sexual energy coming through here, but I don't think you mind it. I think you both are very attracted to each other. And this is the spark you needed in order to get rid of this background energy once and for all. So let's get into it. Uh, the center of this is the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. You can have those signs in your chart. You could be dealing with one of those signs, but this is the beginning to something very new, but it's it feels good. It's passionate. It's exciting. Um, I get this energy that someone gets excited when someone sees that there's a message coming through in their inbox, um, You know whether that is on your phone or through DMs specifically. Um, this person, I think what turns you on about them, Aquarius, is that they know what they want. And for the fact that they're going so hard on you, it kind of flatters you in a way. Um, and it is feeling sexual, definitely, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, I think this is something far more than either of you kind of realize or see it going, especially with that it's rooting the connection. There is some sort of fate here. You guys were supposed to meet for a reason, whether that is to move on from your past or something really special could be happening here between the two of you. Um, I'm seeing a hockey stick. I don't know if someone plays hockey, likes hockey. Maybe you come from an area where they enjoy hockey. I don't know. Canada may resonate with you guys in some way. Um, but yeah, this is a brand new beginning that Aquarius, it's bringing your, your excitement back to love for some of you. And what's crossing this is the chariot, Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy for me as a reader. Aquarius, I don't know, there's, for some of you, it feels like this person just knows what they want and it's you. And they don't give up very easily. And I think, you know, you, you get a bit wary of them with the Nine of Wands crowning this just because maybe it kind of somewhat reminds you of a person from your past or you just don't know if you should rush through to anything or open yourself up right after that hard type of separation that happened in your past but trust Aquarius this person you know they wait on your text they wait on your call and I feel you both do it but you're playing a bit harder to get for a reason to protect yourself which is understandable but no Aquarius, that this person, they have their eyes set on you, and I don't think a lot is going to stop them with this chariot card. Um, someone could be in the military with the chariot. Um, someone could, I don't know. With this chariot energy, I kind of just feel a stubbornness that I don't usually feel with the chariot. But you guys can understand stubbornness, right? No, <laughs> I'm an Aquarius moon, so don't trip. But, um... Yeah, they're really excited about this connection, Aquarius. And right now, I feel like you even have plans with them to see them soon. I don't know if that's this weekend. Or some of you guys even today, I'm picking up on. Um, whenever you're watching this message. But they definitely want to see more of you, Aquarius. Absolutely. What's crowning this reading, though, is the Nine of Wands. So Sagittarius energy. A lot of Sagittarius energy in this reading. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart or you're connected, connected to a Sagittarius, I suggest watching the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But Aquarius, they see you have a bit of a guard up, you know? And honestly, you have been through a lot with this Ten of Swords. So they know that there is a bit of protection there. But honestly, I think they are confident enough in themselves to start persuading you and letting that guard down. They definitely have some tricks up their sleeves in the bedroom. They're definitely good in bed. Um, I don't know if you know that already or not, but they definitely have a lot in mind on what they want to do with you. But maybe Aquarius, because of the sexual energy, it's already making you feel like you have to have a guard up. You don't want to deal with any more players, playettes in your field, right? Um, I feel Aquarius for a while you weren't really interested in dating and 
only recently or, or kind of like this new person came into your life kind of re-sparked that interest. But for a while, you just wanted to be single. And I think you still are. I mean, you're not like committed on Facebook. And if you are, then I don't know. But um, it, it's you've been single to heal a bit. And some of you are still going through that healing. So if you don't want to rush things, I don't recommend rushing anything if you're not ready for it. But I don't think this person has a certain time limit. They just know that they want you. And someone could go fishing too. I don't know. What's rooting this is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Sagittarius energy, also Pisces energy, as this is a card of Jupiter, and Jupiter is the co-ruler of Pisces. There's something, there's a reason why when you guys met, there was like an instant connection or there was an instant attraction to one another because the wheel of fortune is here. There's something faded about this. There is a reason why you guys have met and a lot of you are still kind of figuring out that reason. You know, I am kind of picking up on for some of you guys, both of you just got out of relationships in a way. And this person maybe didn't expect to find such an attraction so soon, but man, it's really, really clear how they feel for you, Aquarius. Sorry, I'm seeing this image of like someone waiting in the driveway for you to come out so you, they could pick you up or something. I don't know if someone's really been in someone else's house yet, but they picked them up there before. I don't know. Um, Others of you, I'm seeing like a visor, like the headband thing. I don't know if anyone's worn a visor recently. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think with the visor image that I was provided, um, you're trying to not be too optimistic should everything fall because you've had your hopes brought up to have them fall so many times with the Ten of Swords of whoever that was in your past you're trying not to get too excited about this or someone here is but um i i just there's i don't feel like there's a lot to worry about here aquarius um someone could be i'm hearing movies like i don't know if someone like makes youtube content or films content on like tiktok or whatever the case is um but maybe someone's really into the movies someone could live by a movie theater maybe So, recent past Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Um, so what I'm getting with this for some of you is that this is, they've experienced a bit of your shell right now, Aquarius. Um, they, I don't, I'm not saying that they thought this was going to be like an easy uh, opportunity or anything like that, but they definitely sense that you're playing a bit hard to get, or that's how they interpret it, right? Um, with this Five of Swords too, this could also correlate with the Ten of Swords. With, you're really, really done dealing with people who are out for themselves, who only care about themselves, who don't put you into consideration, who, I don't know, the person you're dating in your past was really argumentative. There's always something wrong. And you're keeping, you just really don't want to run into that same cycle again, Aquarius. That's what I really feel. Um, so this person does may feel like you don't communicate a lot about your feelings, about what you think. And there's still a lot that you're keeping close to you as far as what you, where you see this going. But again, that's not stopping them. <laughs> It really isn't. Um, someone can always wear like a watch or a bracelet. Or someone could have like a tattoo on their wrist. I'm seeing the left wrist specifically. And I'm also hearing like the sounds of like a river or a creek. I don't know if someone lives by either of those. Or maybe someone has like a water fountain in their backyard. I don't know. But anyway. Aquarius with the Five of Swords in the recent past, like, you, you've definitely been a tough cookie, or it's just correlating with who you're really trying to keep out of your life, and maybe even Aquarius during Mercury retrograde, some sort of ex tried to come back in, 
and it was a yet another disappointment or you just kind of you know gave them a brick wall of no sort of reciprocation and that kind of is what helped tie up that karmic cycle you were in from your past spirits confirming that big time here and i'm also seeing these pair of pants that have like prints on them like the graphic prints um i don't know printed pants is what i'm hearing could be like workout leggings maybe but i don't know it looks a little more um, like dressed up than that. But anyway, <laughs> what you need to know about this connection, Aquarius, three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Um, someone wants to put the work in. Someone is interested in you and you got to know that the interest is genuine. I feel is something that they want to put effort into that. They want to put time into, um, with the three of pentacles too, with what you need to know about this connection, maybe you've met them at work and that's why you've kind of kept some sort of distance because it would be inappropriate in some sort of way. But for a lot of you, I just got to say, yeah, there's, there's work that they want to put into this Aquarius. And since they've met you, it's only been you that they've had in mind. And they're really excited about this connection they have with you. Um, yeah. I even feel like someone's very outdoorsy even, and maybe that's why I heard a creek, like someone likes to go on hikes, someone likes to go camping, and maybe they'll try to like invite you to like an outdoorsy doorsy type of date or like weekend even. They want to impress you. That's what I'm getting as well. But this is the start, or it could be the start to something very passionate. So for the likely outcome of this situation, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to know about this connection. I'm also getting that someone likes to talk on the phone, but it's like on speakerphone. <laughs> I don't know, because you're always doing something while you're talking to someone on the phone, or this is that person. Anything else that Aquarius needs to know about this person or the connection? Ooh, codependency addictions are affecting your love life. And then stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, this makes a lot of sense here, especially with kind of what I was saying with the Wheel of Fortune earlier. <sighs> Aquarius, okay, yeah. So what I feel like with this is that you're keeping your guard up because maybe in the past you dealt with codependency or you dealt with toxicity, right? And maybe this person has two. And I feel because this person may be coming on so strong or in a way where it's like they're very persistent, you're kind of afraid if it's going to be another sort of episode of clinginess, codependency that you just got yourself out of. But at the bottom of the deck, you know, it is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, of course, you know, if anything is toxic and is not healthy for you, by all means, cut it. No tarot reader intentionally wants to promote toxic relationships, right? But no, I feel this is something else. I feel with this codependency and the combination of stay optimistic about your love life, there's still some sort of cord between you and something from your past that still hasn't been healed yet. So Aquarius, if that's the case for you guys, I do recommend doing your healing and I do believe this person will understand. Again, they're very optimistic about this connection with you. But that's not so much the case with this codependency card. Um, make sure that you're not carrying any past behaviors into this new connection that could sabotage it in any way. Anything that is still holding you back is still holding you down. Make sure that that kind of clears all out so it doesn't have to happen again in this connection between the two of you. So we're going to go ahead and see how this all may unfold, what is going to happen in the month of March and what possibly could um, be happening for you. I'm going to overturn this card and I'm going to pull some Oracle cards for, as well for you guys to add to that likely outcome. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. But if this is where we depart, Aquarius, I hope that you gain some clarity and insight in regards to what may be going on in your love life at this time. 
If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you Aquarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care Aquarius.